So the question is about printing in Desire to Learn. Actually, the printing feature in Desire to Learn is phenomenal. Uh, this goes back a long time ago when we were actually on WebCT and students could actually print a module or print an individual folder or whatever. So anyway, for example, I'm on the table of contents. So at the table of contents level, you'll notice student has a print. When they click print, essentially what's happening is Desire to Learn is taking all of the, um, in this particular case, it's printing kind of just what's in the particular modules. It's, so in this particular case, you'll see that it's printing kind of how what they've done and what they have to do. So I think that's kind of nice because the student can then check off the various things that they're doing. If I go into an individual module and there's a print on the individual modules or the sub modules, again, I'm going to be able to print you know, kind of a checklist of that particular thing in the particular item itself. So that's really kind of nice. When you go into any individual piece of content, uh, in this case this is a uh, file, um, there's the print right there, and then you can see that it kind of compiles it in a um, HTML method. Again, the student can also download it if they want to be able to uh, use it. And there's the downloading the file itself. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Go ahead and cancel that. So the other thing, of course, the student can do, we talked a little bit about this, is send this to Binder. And again, Binder is a mobile app, and you'll see that in a later session, where the student can actually look at this, any one of these documents offline and actually mark them up. So you asked about kind of PDFs and uh, PowerPoints. So if I go into Module 1 here, you'll see that this, this is a PowerPoint. So one of the things that's also kind of nice, again, with Desire to Learn, is that with a PowerPoint um, or a Word file or a PDF, um, the students don't have to actually download that. There actually is a viewer. Now, depending on the size of the PowerPoint, depending on the size of the document itself, it may take a little bit to load. But you can see once it loads, there's the PowerPoint. So this is a very, you know, kind of intensive PowerPoint in the sense that um, it's pretty large in size. And you can see the students can go and view this next page and next page, and they can do all of that. Um, once again, they can download it. They really can't print it here. Um, there really would be no reason to print the PowerPoint in this particular case. But again, that's where the download is. They can actually toggle it to full screen so that they can actually view it in full screen. So this viewer, I think, is a, is a really nice resource because the students don't have to ever leave Desire to Learn to, to see the PowerPoint. Now, the same thing's going to happen uh, with a PDF. I'm going to go to the PDF. And so, that, again, so the student could download this, and then they can print it out if they want. So here's the PDF. Again, they can download it. There's, again, no way to print it directly from here. But, again, they can download it and print it from there. And I think if they click on that, they get the same things in here to download that. They can also send this stuff to Binder. So that's how printing uh, kind of works in Desire to Learn. Um, again, individual pages can be printed, uh, PowerPoint, Word files, those kinds of things. The students actually view them right within a PowerPoint. Well, actually, there's the print for a, a PDF. So it's right inside of the, uh, the document. So you can see that printing is much nicer, much easier. Um, than it is was in uh, Angel.